Hello everyone, I'm Super Mutant Mocha Lover, and today we are beginning a new campaign on the West Coast in Old World Blues, of course, because it's a great mod, and we're going to play as, of course, the Troll War, and just like the beginning of every campaign, I'd like to show you guys what the direction is, or any buffs I might give to countries, in which, of course, no one has anything special, and we do not have historical AI focuses on, but let us continue. And I have a small thing to give right now, so... Troll Warren. We are the Troll Warren. I am the first, the first super mutant. I lead the rest of our kin. We are small in number, but in time we shall grow and forcibly convert others to become super mutants like us. Some would say we're immortal. But, of course, in the lands up north, deep in Vault 6, more and more kin come to us, and in time, we have also found Betty, the brains and brawn of the super mutants. And of course, in time, we shall explore further north to the treacherous metal men, and to the south, perhaps, where they are democratic of sorts. But we shall conquer many people. We shall enslave many, many people to serve our needs. Of course, in the South, besides those who believe in democratic ways, there is Nerino, lands of some gamblers and evil families. But anyways, of course, we have heard sparse stories of a mighty group of people to the southeast. Some would say perhaps an army, a big legion of whatever that might be. But anyways, regardless, all around us there are many strong enemies. But we must be stronger, for we are the super mutants. Anyways, beautiful. First up is the first hollow tape. As he felt his mind slipping away, the man who had become the first created several recordings to guide himself or really me. The first of which was to remind me of my morals. What had made me the man I was and what I held closest to my own special shriveled up heart. Ah, oh, super mutants. Beautiful. In time, we shall get the bulking behemoths to help us and our kin. But let's just go ahead and check. Right now we can use Betty the Pitman or the Bone Snarl. Right now I'm taking a look at the attacks and I want Betty to be a big, big mama. Big ol' big mama. Awesome. Hmm, yeah, like normal, I will disable backstory decisions, but we have the first holotape. My name is Andrew Shaw. Some would say I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, though. But you were born on April 24th, 2043. You have a family. Two proud sons who you promised to protect, a wife who you must see again. It's why you became a soldier, Andrew, to protect them. You were raised in Portland. That is your home. When you're ready, you have to go back. You have to face what happened. Find your legacy. They were in a vault, Andrew. Your children might have grandchildren or some other legacy. Find them. Find yourself. You can't forget this, Andrew. You have to remember what matters. What you must do. Do we find old kin? Do we return home? Or must I protect my new family? Well, we could have a procession of war, but that's okay. Since we're going to get bonuses to that anyways, probably. We could return home. It's only 5%, but my old family. I am a family man, and I look after all kin. So I'm going to go with more stability, more manpower, and a core on Fort Williamette. Followed up will be the second hollow tape driven into deeper desperation by his growing mental instability, the violence I felt growing in my heart, the man that would become the first left a second recording, a guiding message for myself as I saw more and more people flocking to my impromptu abode. I was a soldier still, and it was my duty and honor to protect these people, and I would be damned if he forgot that. If I forgot that, exactly. If I had forgotten my duty to family, to kin, Mm. And also I have here a cup of dark, super mutant coffee. Delicious. Even though it could be slightly warmer. Whatever. 
And as you can tell, I might be getting ready to go to war with either the Marrow Drinkers or the Rib Breakers, but Monster! You're becoming a monster. Even now I can feel it in the back of my mind, the numbing sensation, it's growing so hard to focus. Even now, they are emerging from the woodworks. The few who survived the fall of the old world due to man. Some drink the water, some bathe in it, desperate to become like you, to become powerful enough to survive. You must take or make something for them. Something to protect them. A fortress, a city, or an army. I don't know. Protect them. You have to protect them. You are the first of our kind. You must lead. We could build a city. Which doesn't look bad. A little bit of manpower. Some extra water and a few civilian workshops and infrastructure. That's not bad right now, though. We have about 10 water. And to produce basic melee weaponry, we'll need water. Yeah, we're going to need some water. We can build a fortress in which we get three arms workshops, two outposts, and a civilian workshop, which isn't bad. Or we can build an army, we get three arms workshops, 3,000 manpower, and a primitive army, which gives us more and more training, or less training time, actually. I must build an army. I must. And you did see I'm putting on some tank things we should build. So the third recording was made long after the second, following an attack against the Warren by a number of proto-raiders. Ghouls and desperate souls seeking what little could be taken. Oh, they shall know their place. Oh, I should have taken more water. Um, I'll be honest. Oh, water. Some water. Oh, they actually have more water over here, but they do have more scrap on the right. Hmm... The coming era. Manpower, a couple divisions. They have probably more divisions and even more manpower, even though... Ooh, these guys have two factories. I'm going to take that first. Also, we don't have any space to build in the lands, for we are not super, super smart and cannot build when there's not enough space. So, we weren't ready for them. They came in the night. Post guards, they overwhelmed the perimeter. They killed your people. Not again. Don't let this happen ever again. Find the strongest among your people with guns and grit. One, two, step, like the old days, like the army. Teach them how to fight. Teach them how to protect the warren. Shall we have a big brother? Oh, yes. Shall we strike with tooth and claw, which we get more population, and two super mutant battle groups, where thunder shall rain from the walls of the warren? Actually, these are exactly the same, except you get more population with this one. But, behemoth production costs minus 15%. I like Big Brother. Big Brother protect. Big Brother shall be led by... Bone Snarl. And, uh, let's see. Next one. The final holotape. The final holotape is a busted thing stolen from a passerby who fell victim to the war during a time of desperation for the gravity of their situation and barren reproduction has... Settled in. Now we get 1.06 political power a day. I don't know what it does, but political power sounds like it could be used as a good resource. Mmm. That coffee. Good stuff. Oh, let's go and do this. Um. Ah, oh, the fourth hollow tape. Ooh. Can't do that yet. So. Your people are starving. You cannot reproduce because we are all sterile. You have little here. You must survive. You must take. Go and find what you need. Resources. Slaves. Warriors. Take what you need to survive. It's the way of the world now. Darwinism. Do you remember that? Survival of the fittest. Survival of the strongest. And you, my friend, are a super mutant. You are the strongest. There are none stronger than you. Just remember that. Believe in it. And you will survive your people will survive i shall take their resources not bad we shall take their warriors mm, i like that we shall take their people i shall take their people because i love war and people captures ah oh, bring on the slaves so we want to get to war immediately so the drums of war created from the innumerable barrels that once contained the fev that brought the war into life echo through the hills even the most violent of the local tribals cower in their homes Feasting on what might be their last meal of human flesh. The war and stirs, and from it comes a horde of hungry mutants. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. 
Hmm. Right now, we could use more infantry equipment, but in time, we shall get more and more. I'm feeling pretty good about that so far, and we only need that to do stuff here. So, the war on stirs, we have more political power, but we shall go with, let's see, the marrow drinkers next. I love the description. Oh, basic hygiene. Expel the rift raft. I cannot get out of that. So, mother of the warren. Mother is one of the very first few that first ever dunked into the warren, and she has grown or grew to almost match his stature. However, her mental faculty remains steadfast within her. She cares for the warren and looks after them. Bone, Snarl, and Betty often talk to her to speak their issues and seek guidance. Give me that stability, Mama. Give me that political power. You should always have your super mutant Mama with you. Ah, oh, that monthly population is going to be a big help, hopefully. Because right now, we only get one more super mutant a month. Also, I will let you know why I have played this a little bit ahead. And try this out for myself, but these super mutant behemoths, they're only two combat width. Look at that breakthrough. 72, 106. Soft attack. Regular super mutants at 10 combat width are way less good. So... That leaves me with a question. Should I leave this as potentially just 20 combat width? Super mutant divisions, no changes besides the support companies. Or should I integrate super mutant behemoths into these divisions to make them even tank here? Now, of course, these guys take more supply, but... Should I leave them by themselves, or should I integrate them into our normal, regular divisions? That's a question for me to ask you. But soon enough, we shall have succulent marrow to drink from. And we shall enjoy every bone. Mmm. Era migration. Builder legend. <clears throat> Sun gods, and then they have tribe. They are, of course, a tribal nation. Succulent marrow. And just in case, 35 days. The will of the war chief. The first holds annual bouts of physical combat to ensure that those within the tribe understand my might and that they are to serve me. The most recent round of challenges has brought a number of super mutants from distant lands who seek to usurp my command. Interesting. Who shall lead? But who shall die? And of course that shall be the enemy to our east. Pitman, I hope you're ready. Engage. These Heathen militia enemies. Give them more attack. They could use it. Good, good, good. This will take a little bit of time. We don't have a lot of divisions, and the divisions that we currently have aren't as optimal. And Big Brother has armor. I love it. I love, love it. Oh my gosh. Almost 20 armor. That's beautiful. We've lost no one so far. They've lost 25. Not super great, but it is something. Hmm. Taking our time. In the end, we shall break these enemies. It just takes time. As they are mobilizing more and more people. And by doing this, we are struggling in the beginning, and that's okay. Because that shall give us more and more and more XP and experience for our leaders. Mountaineers, becoming a trickster, becoming an infantry leader. Bone Snarl, well, he's just kind of hanging out for now. Um, if anything, you should come right there. Encircle and destroy. Hopefully you do not get encircled in the end. However. Just in case, you shall attack this way too. Beautiful. Headsman Lindsay. War Chief, the first has a tradition of accepting any and all challenges to his authority within the Troll Warren. He has never been bested, but often his best commanders and allies come from those he had bested in single combat. In recent memories, those who come or came to the closet or closest were the fierce Bone Snarl who attempted to fight him head on, the Nightkin Pitman who attempted to overwhelm the first while his back was turned, and with the cover of a stealth boy and Betty, a mutant from the far east who almost overpowered him with her sheer strength. So, I was going to ask you which direction I should go, but I have forgotten that this automatically goes to the next focus. So, 
let us take a little bit of time to decide which direction I shall go. So with the Pitmen, we will become more and more elite, a little more manpower. We get claims on a royal and clams myth, or Klamath, vengeance for the master, more attack, and then you lose those stuff in ex exchange for a few other things. New Mariposa, that's not bad. For Bone Snarl's loyalty, we get more people support. Cannibals, less non-core manpower, but more attack and defense. Preparing the Warren. Developing the Slaves' Minds, Ritualistic Scarring, more population and less training time, and Eaters of Mankind, more non-core manpower, ooh. And finally, Betty, who is an intellectual. Give us technology, Causes of the Trouble, we can get claims and a war goal on the cause, as well as the Washington Brotherhood's cores. Super Mutant Tactics, more division attack, Mount Hawk, ooh, I like all of these. So, if we go with Betty... We get cores, or at least claims and a war goal, on the cause in the Washington Brotherhood. If we go with the Pitmen, we get claims on a royal and Klamath. And if we go with Bone Snarl's loyalty, we just... Well, we become cannibals. Hmm. I mean, you get technology, which isn't bad, but technology only goes so far. You get 1% more population and 3% more attack. You get 5% more attack, 2% more population, and the Pitman's Cunning. And we get Nightkin. I've never played with Nightkin before. We get a Royal or Klamath. We get claims, but I can already justify on enemies. But before I make my decision, I want to explore our ministers. For we have Betty for more Research speed, planning speed, and max planning, which is pretty good. The knight can tear for more division attack on core territory, which is not bad. That's okay. Consuming 100. Less non-core manpower, less supply consumption, and more division organization. Hmm. This isn't bad. I like all of them. I would love to do all of them. But resources, we can get more resources in the end anyways... We get more attack, southern division. You know what? Let us go with the Pitman's coming. I've never done the Pitman's cunning. I tried Betty's might, and I like the bone snarl, I really do, but Pitman's. Let's go with that. We shall become an elite group. Beautiful. Next up. Let us do it. After having worked his way into a good into the good graces of the war chief, Pittman had set about instilling a sense of personal pride in the mutants of the Warren. He preaches to them about the glory of the master, even as his Nightkin warriors become favorites of the first. And yes, I did that because I want to try out those soldiers. Um. Oh, I need to do this. I get Nightkin terror. Whatever. 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 Um. Let us go ahead and do military theorist first. Because we're going to need more army XP where we're going. Cool. And if I didn't choose the decision that you wanted or the choice that you wanted, my apologies. I can only choose one out of the three. So in the end, I probably disappointed most people. Ah, there goes my coffee. Beautiful. Come crush this enemy. Crush him. Once we take out that enemy, good. I need you to move this way, though. Take out that stuff. And then take Camp Sherman. We shall finish off in the north first. Keep applying pressure, big brother. We have more divisions. Good. Good. I want you to continue to beat the snot out of these enemies. Make sure they know their place. Do not give them peace. Do not give them quarter. For the, the men, the steel people of the north are becoming stronger and stronger. Good. We are doing a great job. Oh. Good. More factories. Good. Crush them and potentially eat them. Hmm. Good. 
we have the marrow. Pittman, you're not learning very much yet. Betty has been learning quite a bit, and Bone Snarl, well, he's kind of there. Beautiful. And now we will get more elite support and two of Pittman's Night Kin. And we shall next up do Tender Ribs. I love that description. I have never used um, Nightkin. Actually, you're... Special Forces, you're not. That's okay. That's okay with me. Nightkin Remnants. We shall have our way with them in the end. Can't do anything here either. Woodworking is always good to have. Improvised tools work as needed. Let us go ahead and choose our land option, which I shall go for asymmetrical warfare for mass charge. Next up, we can't do anything down there, but we shall get some more research speed, because research is still important. Even though we might not have the big brain, we can still do something. Men, I hope you are ready. For within a few days, a few weeks perhaps, we shall go to war with them. Ah, uh, the first and Pitman. Ah, elite support. Supplies are looking very good. If possible, um, don't really need you, but I shall train a group of super mutant behemoth. It might be in the, by the end of this campaign, we'll have nothing but super mutant behemoths. And because we are a very tribal nation, I can only research so much. So that means I'm going to research a lot of support companies early on, especially logistic companies, healing powder, and of course recon, maybe dogs, maybe dynamite, perhaps stuff like that. We shall see. I do not know what the future holds. Except that my super mutant battle groups... Oh, no. My super mutant behemoths... We're going to throw on a little bit more. There you go. We're lacking quite a few, actually. Good. And we have enough water for now. Tender ribs. Let us go ahead and start drinking the marrow. The marrow drinkers were too weak to stand against us, but anyone within the Warren's Warrior cast could have told you this. They were like carrion birds, scavenging bones from the battles of others, drinking that which they did not openly earn. They broke easily and will remain broken. But it is time to engage the next enemy. They choose not to fight us, so be it. We shall fight them on the beaches. Well, mostly on the mountains, but maybe on the beaches. And there goes the cause, and that's why I do not choose Betty. Because Washington Brotherhood usually takes out the cause, and that would, be, would have been a waste, kind of, of a focus. Good. We shall break them with open arms. Break those rib breakers. Builder Hakunin. He is going to become a very tasty meal. A lot of manpower. That means a lot of feasting for us. Partial mobilization? Sure, even though I'm really only building not very much stuff. Build that up. And when you're done, we still can't build. Oh, well, maybe. Well, actually, you know what? Build. Create. But mostly take. Can they pierce us? Of course not. Followers, Echiman. Echiman. Hmm. Interesting. Army XP is doing very, very well. Behemoths, we need way more behemoths. Good. Hmm. Good, go ahead and attack. Break them. Follow by drinking the marrow. We will get claims on the bone pickers and Kemalt Station. So the bone pickers are right here. Klamath. What is Klamath up to? Klamath question. Ah. Oh. We all see what Klamath does. Drinking the marrow. Very good. Tribal encampments, more civilian stuff. Bonus to that from the ruins. Let's go ahead and make the slaves of the unworthy or get a bonus to land doctrine. Memories of Ages. The memories of Ages past still linger in the mind of the first, troubling his dreams and inspiring him in the depths 
of pitched battle, ancient military tactics hammered into the mind of a young man who no longer knows his own name as he remembers these things, our hope grows even greater. Beautiful. Are you learning? Yes, you are learning, finally. He might have the slightly dumb, but he is learning. Betty is doing great. Becoming a mountaineer and bone snarl, well, he's becoming what some would call a panzer leader, even though I have no idea what a panzer is. What is a panzer? Let's go ahead and begin creating some kaboom thingies, maybe? No. I cannot create stuff that goes kaboom yet. Good. Resources doing better on behemoths. Infantry equipment is doing well as well. We have 12 army XP, which is reassuring. Go ahead and help take them out. Crush them. Big Brother is now in the battle. And we have a dockyard, but we have no ports. Hmm. Interesting. How do we use a dockyard? Hmm. Give them more attack. And we have two more divisions. Beautiful. Beautiful. We've lost 32 super mutants, but we shall definitely make it up in time. Manpower is looking good. Betty just became a fortress buster as well as a mountaineer. Actually, the person probably already had a fortress buster. Good. Keep learning. Become even more aggressive. Good. The Vipers were annexed. Beautiful. Reference manual. Smoke signals. Support companies. Militia training. Good. Crush them. Legenta del Sol, wherever that is, declared war on cowboys. Hmm. Cowboys. Oh, you are very tired. We've lost 47 versus almost 500. Let them help crush these two divisions and then move up north. I like how my behemoth is a vehicle. It has wheels. I don't remember Big Brother having wheels, but that's okay. Go do that. Good, good, good. Give them more attack. Secret language, good. Mm. Mm. Ooh, heavy melee weaponry. Ooh. Oh wait, do we get we get behemoths? Mm, nothing special over there. Canoes. We might need a navy. Ah, memories of age. Good. Good stuff. But, let's see. Tribal encampments, we shall wait on that. So, making slaves of the unworthy. There are a few within our lands who are truly worthy of the gift of mutation. Instead, we shall keep them as slaves for labor, and in the case of those too weak for labor, cattle upon which to feast. That is the super mutant way. Glorious. Truly glorious. More attack, more attack. They dead. They have dead. Beautiful. Now, we could go to war with the Washington Brotherhood now, but that does not seem like a very good idea. So, what we shall do is we shall prioritize living standards. What do we have? We need to repair stuff. Repair, repair, repair. Followed up with justification on perhaps an... What happened to Klamath? The independence of Arroyo is guaranteed by the Western Brotherhood. Port Ma. 
Eating the maw. What if we went to war with this pirate human? What if we did that? That would cer certainly be an interesting thing to do, would it not be? I believe so. Let us that time go on for now. Those are the only ways that they can come in. Head squashers come to here. Carcass wares and the Mariposa remnants come over here. And of course, Bone Snarl with Big Old Brother. She'll come here. The she. That was fast. Wow, she. Canoes. Good. We have a dockyard. And we shall build boats in Beaver Creek. Stability. Stability for the people. Stability for the people is a great idea. But unfortunately, that is all the time for that we have today. A normal, little over half hour episode. If you like the beginning of this campaign, leave a like for the Troll War. And we've already taken out two enemy nations. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link if you haven't already. Wow, the she have died extremely fast. And I will see you all tomorrow as we continue to expand the Troll Warren and the Super Mutant Race. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great, great Super Mutant Day.